Not a moment to waste. Let's get right to it. Joining us now on the hotline, one of the very best in the business. Man, he's busy even when he's helping one fighter out for this fight. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he's helping, I think, something like eight. One of the best nutritionists, dietitians, weight-cutting coaches in all of mixed martial arts, the one and only George Lockhart joins us here on the show. George, how are you? I'm doing great, man. It's a crazy week, but we're having a good time. Now, did I get that number right? It's eight fighters on this card you're helping? Well, we had kind of a setback, but now we're, now we're working with six. Uh, we 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 uh we didn't get one, and then uh, uh, Khabib's not. We're not working with Khabib anymore. Okay, sorry, I didn't didn't want to. Uh, I didn't know what the number. I, I'd heard it was eight. I just wanted to no. verify it with you. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we started off with seven, but uh, yeah, you know, with uh, with Khabib, yeah, it's kind of a we had kind of a uh, you know with uh, with Max and everything else. Got it. All right, so you are helping Max. I want to talk about that in just a second. Let me ask you this: What would you say would be your limit? in terms of how many people you could work for on a card? My goal is to work with the entire card, Luke. Like, uh, that's our goal. Hopefully by the end of the, uh, either, you know, at the end of this uh, year, we want at least half the card. Next year, we want the entire card, every, every card. How can you – and I don't ask this in a way where I don't believe you. I'm just asking to try and understand. How is it possible to do that and give uh, well, everyone the attention? Definitely, logistics have definitely changed since I started. Like the first uh, weight cut I ever worked with with the uh, Brian Stan, it was just me, and I'm running around the city like, okay, we got to find food, you know. Um, now we, we scout out everything, we have everything scheduled in advance, and this week alone we have ten people for it was for the seven for the seven guys. So you know, it's uh, we we have more than enough manpower. We have everything scoped out. We have the best food, best supplements. We have great sponsors like. Sweet Sweat sent us all our stuff. You know, Eight Men sent us all their stuff. So, you know, we're, we're good to go. You know, it's a, it's a good thing. Monster, man, they, uh, we live off. Like, I live, it's just horrible as a nutritionist, but I live off the stuff this week, and they sent me, like, 16, 16 pallets. I think I'm through half of them. Oh, my God. All right. Well, let me <laughs> ask you this. How much do you closely monitor each day's progress? And this is a weird question, but how much of your day is math? Oh, yeah, my math is basically, yeah, I was, you know, it's down, you know, 90% of my day, I'm just sitting here like, okay, this is what they weigh, this is the last time they ate, this is the next time they eat, you know, this is what we need to give them, this is the macros we need to give them, this is the calories we need to give them. Um, you know, we, right now we have like a war room in the, in, the, in the hotel, basically a big wall that shows up, you know, everybody's weight when's the last time they ate, everybody's name, room number. Um, then we have guys, we have guys that are, uh, you know, Basically, um, yeah, so sorry I got distracted. It's okay. But uh, are you, in other words, you have to spend a lot of your time just doing calculations and then setting up timing each day. How would you describe what diets these guys are on? Is it is it intermittent fasting? Is it flexible dieting? What is it? Everybody's on a different diet depending on how much they have to, how much they have to lose, how much they have to cut. Obviously, like with, uh, with Max, we had a – you know, we, we had a game plan when he came in, and um, things changed. You know, we were going to put him in a, in a very ketogenic diet. We were going to – thinking that we had to burn tons and tons of calories because, you know, he was going to be super heavy. Um, he gets off the plane, and, um, you know, basically he was heavy to start with because, you know, he he flew 18 hours, and it was like literally that, that night he, he had been fully hydrated. He gets in. Um, we, did a, we did a small fast over the flight, and <laughs> he dropped like 10 pounds. When he, when he got here, we were like – Oh, okay. We went from stressed out to like this is an easy day. How, okay, so math. Help me understand how that's possible. Again, not that I don't believe you. I'm just trying. I feel like nobody yeah. understands the human body, and you do. So how can you how can you lose that kind of weight? Okay, well, you know, basically, you know, it comes down to hormones holding. You know, basically, the, the body holding water. Seventy percent of our body weight is is water. Seventy percent of our body is actually water. So that that uh, makes obviously a majority of uh, you know our water, our, our overall weight. And, you know, certain things affect that weight, like stress, sodium, um, flying, lack of sleep. When you start getting everything working in order, people float a lot. And floating basically means, like, when you sleep, how much water you lose overnight. We have fighters. Um, you know, I don't think you'll, you'll mind me saying his name, but, like, Joe Duffy, he's mm -hmm. notorious. The first time I worked with him, um, I'm like, God, his weight's a little heavy. He floats every, every fight camp that, or every uh, fight week, he floats 10 pounds overnight. It's like, it's just, it's just his body, you know, um, he does the proper training, but once the body relaxes, it, you know, that body just lets go of that water. Um, you know, when you're, when you're tight, when you're tense, like a lot of people that are stressed out, you know, like your work, whatever it is, their muscles tighten up and that basically prevents them from having a bowel movement that, that prevents them from releasing that water. But when you get somebody relaxed, you know, definitely it, it, it helps that out. 
with uh, with Max, a lot of it's going to be based on sodium potassium ratios. We got to drop sodium. Um, you know, like 440 milligrams of sodium could hold up two pounds of water. You know, and if you look at like just like one can of soup, you got 1800 milligrams of sodium. So people don't realize like how much of weight is actually based on the, the amount of water that, that that they're holding. You know, sure, you know, their true actual weight. So when we got we got hold of Max's first weight, you know, it was it was a little high, and we were kind of like, man, you know, how much uh, how much is that sodium? How much is that lack of sleep? And how much is that an 18 hour flight? And um, we didn't get our answer until he flew in, and <laughs> once he got here, it was just kind of like a breath of fresh air, you know. And I don't think he'll mind this, but to tell you the, the truth, like he's going to 155. When he was in Detroit, he weighed in at 176 checking in, and that was going to 145. Uh, I'm sorry, he weighed at 174, sorry, to go to 145. And now he checked in at 176 and what? He's going to 155. No way. So, uh, so you yeah, you bro. so you thought he was like 186. Yeah, I do we honestly we were like okay, you know, and and you know, we we we, we you know, we crunched numbers, we kind of looked at his last camp and based it off, okay, he's going to 55 now. His body's accustomed to going to uh, to 145. That's the biggest thing. Like, okay, his body's used to going to that 145. Now we're going to 155. And then when you see, like, wait a minute, that's only two pounds off. And he's got 10 pounds more that he has that leeway. You know, it's uh, it's easy day. Now the biggest thing is to make sure that, you know, he's got the proper cut, make sure that he's, he's you know, he doesn't have to stress about anything. He's super relaxed. His recovery is good. And then the hydration, you know, that's – we're good at the cut, man. We're, we're great at the cut. The team, like, if you've seen everybody on – you know, we're working with – we got Joanna, we got Kiesa, we got Felder, we got Pettis, obviously Max, we got Felice. Everybody's feeling great. And if you watch them, like, on Instagram, they're putting all their food out there and their weight's crazy low. Um, but the biggest thing that we – we're even better at than the cut is the reload. You know, we got that down to a science to make sure that their body has got the, the proper sodium, potassium, and everything else that they need to make sure that they're out there fighting. So of all the hard cuts you've ever had to do, where would you rank this one? Or uh, let's, 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 let's say this. <laughs> yeah, now, between the easiest and the hardest cuts, where is this one? This is like, honestly, it's a regular cut. Just about everybody that we work with for long periods of time, they almost come in at the exact same weight. Um, and this is this would be a regular cut. We're, you know, we're, we're, I, I put it like a six, you know, six, seven, because it's, a, it's a, obviously a world championship fight, so I got a little extra stress no matter what. Like, just because of... You know the uh, the publicity that this one's getting, but you know in terms of, like if he was just a regular fight, he'd be like a steak. That is crazy. George Lockhart joins us here on the Luke Thomas Show. Who's got the easiest cut of everyone you're monitoring? Um, honestly, uh, uh Felice. Like, she comes in, man. She's she's. I, I mean, this girl right now is shredded. You know, I, I looked at her arms. I'm like, dude, I want arms like that. That's insane. You no, know, she's so disciplined. Um, and the, the truth is, is she's very, very knowledgeable about nutrition. As you said, you look at her physique and you look at her performance. She's very good at what uh, she does. Um, her uh, her manager Brian Butler, he uh, he contacted us because we work with a lot of his guys. Obviously, we worked with Max last fight, and he saw what we can do. Uh, we got Paul Felder on the card. He's uh, again one of his guys, and he's like, you know what? He's gonna, these guys are going to take you to the next level. So in, a lot of it's not necessarily like you know she's never had a bad cut. She's got an easy cut, but it's like. Are you 100%? You know, like, you know, you go in there 80%, like, we can make sure that you're 100% you, you know? So, if you look at it, you know, obviously, Anthony Pettis is fighting Mike Chiesa, and we got both of them. You know, we don't have a, a dog in a fight. Our biggest goal is is not like, we're going to help you beat so and our, our biggest goal is to make sure that you are 100% you when you get in the cage. Uh, that's incredible. So, you expect no, I mean, look, knock on wood, you never know, but come, for all the fans listening, come Friday morning, you are very confident about Max's ability to make that championship weight. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, do 100%. Oh, I can't wait to see how that is going to go. Now, you mentioned the reload. How long of a process is that? In other words, when is your job done? When is my job done? Okay, so, you know, a lot of times when we work with fighters, we make sure that we do the cut and then we do the, the, the reload. The reload basically being the proper re rehydration. And God honest truth, man, I uh, – I uh, get back home because, you know, I have my son sitting at home. So I, I literally, like, I fly out the week of, and then I fly home on Friday so I can see my son over the weekends. Um, you know, and then obviously working on the company, you know, Lockhart and Leith, we're, we're, you know, we're growing like crazy. So it seems like, you know, there's never an off time. i got to build the company during the weekends. And then, you know, during the week, it, it seems like I <laughs> – people are like, you never put anything on Instagram, which we're trying to do as, as well. Um, but usually it's over Friday. This time, I'm working with Joanna all the way up to the fight. I'm working with Max all the way up to the fight um, to make sure, you know, make sure that everything's 
perfect. You know, I just want I want to see this fight. You know, Max, he he, uh, he wanted this so bad. I want to make sure that, like I said, he's uh, he's got everything taken care of as as well as Joanna. You know, I hate what happened to her last time. It sucks. Like any time that 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 happens, you know. Again, you know, like I'm I'm not I'm not taking anything away from Rose or anything like that. I just I, I hate to see like a fire go through that and still have to go out there in, into such a you know <laughs> a sport that you know like you can take that damage and. Um, when you're not 100 percent, man, it's just it's not a good thing. So we're gonna make sure that she's 100 percent, Joanna out there. George, I wish we could talk for another 30 minutes. We have a tight schedule today, so we have to keep going. But I take my hat off to you. I know you have a Herculean task in front of you, and it seems like full steam ahead. And I'm sure that the fans listening are very heartened by the comments about Max Holloway. Thank you so much for your time today, and wish you the best of luck through this process. You're the man. Thanks, Luke. I appreciate it. All right, there he goes, George Lockhart. Let's go to.